Hey everybody, this is Jason, the New Mexico Sportsman. Today I'm in the Gila. I'm in a little tributary of the Gila River. I'm not going to mention where it is because uh, it's a tiny little creek and it's got a bunch of little cut bows in it that I've fished over the last, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. Uh, every year I come in here, I catch one or two fish and I get out. Anyways, what I want to talk about today is why sportsmen need to support the Clean Water Act. Let's start out with the obvious, whether we're hunting, fishing, camping, or just enjoying a day at the lake, we all need clean, cold, fresh water. Whether you know it or not, we've all benefited from the Clean Water Act. But the problem is that recent Supreme Court findings, they're calling into question what's actually covered and what isn't covered. If you spend much time in the outdoors, you know the truth, that these smaller intermittent streams, they are truly the lifeblood of the larger rivers. This EPA rule now protects those. So why are these intermittent streams so important? <laughs> well, easy. I mean, they provide a place for my little fish to get big. Uh, they also provide a place for the elk and the deer, um, you know, the bears, the mountain lions, and non-game species to water during the seasons when it's really dry out here, like in the spring before the monsoons. You know, and if you want a number, six billion dollars, B as in boy, six billion dollars we generate annually in the state of New Mexico for outdoor recreation. So, you know, the Clean Water Act, it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. If you have any questions, let me know, Jason, the New Mexico sportsman, you know, and get involved. Um, join organizations like Trout Unlimited. Be heard. Thank you. Tight lines.